I kind of already unboxed her on stream, so I'm pretty much going to do the same thing here. Uh, what's up, YouTubers, one and all? My is Fate to 87 And this is a figure that I have been... It's... Okay, I'm going to say right now, this figure isn't exactly the best at what it does. But when it does do something, it does something really good. And this is... This is possibly one of the few Prime Deluxe class figures that I've owned before. And, like, honestly, I would like to own more Prime toys, but at the same time, more in the aesthetic of movies. But at the same time, Prime aesthetic kind of fits into realistic, because, you know, it does take place in realistic. It's, like, dark and gritty, but even though in reality it isn't dark and gritty. There are people... There re there's a reason why I don't like Prime. And this bitch is one of them. This bitch is none other than fucking Arachnid. Now, she had a very worse toy. This is not that. This is the upgraded APC fourth party or even third party figure. And it comes with... This is all it comes with. I already got the box and all that shit. I'm gonna keep the box so it can actually keep the legs safe. But for the time being, this is what it comes with. And because we're dealing with a helicopter, yes, I have to bring Blackout down. It is now customary that unless I am reviewing a really big figure, or I am reviewing a helicopter, reviewing a, a really big figure, or I am reviewing something for like Masterpiece or something really special, it is always going to be customary for me to bring down Blackout with videos relating to fucking helicopters. You can tell how much I just love this alt mode. I love Blackout's alt mode, and this, um... I'm gonna be real. I think the original did it much better. Slightly. It looked more on model to the show. And the head in the robot mode, but that's a different story. But everything else, this figure does a lot better. And those really prop it up to be the best version that we've gotten of this figure. Now, I'm really hoping that either A, Legacy, or the brand new other shit coming one day. I'm hoping we can get something from third party or from Void or from a... Uh, Legacy or, or something generations official or third party a hard shell because hard shell The only figure we got in a hard shell Is um Thank you. I haven't been beast mode. Wow, actually, I actually haven't been beast mode. Wow, okay um this That's it for hard shell like, what the fuck? Anyway, so, um, moving on from that type of mishap, uh, let's bring in other comparisons. Um, I will bring in RC, um, later on in an edit, don't worry. But we have Bumblebee. Um, I mean, she's a Terracon, so let's bring in all the Terracons. How's that? Alright, let's make it easy. Alright, because this has been running a little bit long. There. Terracons. Boom. You happy? And yes, I kind of cheated on the Terracon because, you know, zombie and shit because of thirst. Honestly, that is one of my favorite episodes, but still. The show has been recently lacking for me. And it's to the point that I've fallen out of love of it because of just how many flaws there really is now. That I finally seen. Especially after I had to deal with the fact that I did a watch along with dad. And then. It kind of was like he wasn't that interested in it. And sure. Prime is one of the best Transformers shows that came out. Don't get me wrong. But people saying that it's dark. That's where I draw the line. That is where I say. No. Earth Spark is dark. And. They tried to say the show is dark just because, oh, they killed a character at the beginning of the show. In reality, you're ending up... 
just like, sure, Earthspark is an action adventure comedy show. But it, when it gets dark, it's darker than Prime. I'm going to say right now, Prime cannot compare to how dark Earthspark went for season one. By the way, the time is recording, season one uh, um, score is coming out tomorrow, November 10th. So, I will be definitely trying to do the like call or something or like listening to those and then just kind of giving my thoughts on it. On each of the tracks. But yeah, I can't find a way to get the track. But the point is, while Prime had kind of good music, kind of a good story, it's not the best anymore. It really isn't. And one of those reasons is due to the fact of killing people off and all that shit because of all the behind the scenes and whatnot. And on top of that, this bitch. I hated her in the show. I'm glad she got what... I basically got karma for a lot of stuff. But when it came to season three, they just wrote her off and they never brought her back up ever again. Honestly, I'm hoping that Dinobots Unleashed, aka the sequel to Galvatron's Revenge, which yes, I still support that shit because I did pay $50 for it. And if I don't get my Blu-ray, I am freaking getting my ass to get him my Blu-ray. Now, also on top of that, um, as, as much as I'm also talking about that, um, rendering is still in progress. So the Blu-ray will not be out until definitely next year at this point. Yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer. But hey, um, a full year waiting. You know what? Why not? I mean, I've, I've waited longer. For other shit, so... I mean, I'm waiting about, like, what, four years now for, um... For for Rise of Unicron. Hopefully they come out with something good very soon. Hopefully it's 2024, because at this point, I... I don't know. You know, just, just saying. But, uh, yeah. And then also, this winter is, um... Like, this upcoming winter slash February, or, um, January or whatever is the new Cybertron Falls. But I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm talking too much. Let's get, get to the extra figure. Um I'm gonna take this off. That's the blades. And then basically we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna do this. We're just gonna do it. how do you want me to okay. Basically this is the uh quote unquote spider mode. And also, please be careful with these fucking legs. Please be careful. And you know what? I kind of like the spider mode. Don't get me wrong. I really do. But uh, the legs, uh, they are left to be very desired when it comes to this shit. I ain't gonna lie. When it comes to... I mean, yeah. I mean, for one thing, it can stand up right. I really do like this. In robot mode, that is a different story. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, enough talking, enough gushing, and enough doing nothing. Let's actually transform this shit. Especially her. She's a piece of shit that I really wanted to dead in the show. Maybe that's why I kind of don't want her, because she's a piece of shit and kind of... At the same time, maybe she'd be good. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be dependent on this on this review. I'm hope I'm really liking her so far. But there are some iffy stuff, and it definitely has to do with the fact that it doesn't really fit in my collection. Just saying. So the transform erect into robot mode. First, we want to do is that we want we were going to obviously take these off, and at the same time, it's probably going to pop off other stuff. But oh well. 
take these off, put them to the side. Take these off, put them to the side. So, if you haven't already, it's going to unpeg. That's the first thing is only going to unpeg is these. Then, uh, if these aren't unpegged by now, well, you can unpeg them because this side's loose, this side isn't, but they're pretty easy to come off. And these are going to become the arms and whatnot. This, you're going to bring up and you can split the legs from here and it's going to also detach from this part right here and then what's going to happen is that this is going to lift all the way up and then if you have all of this out of the way, and then you also lift, push this panel in. And it's a stiff panel at that. Once you have all of that up and out of the way, you can spin this 180. Like so, you can keep the legs like this, but make sure you have them kind of like like that now. Um, you can have this coming downward, but also you're going to, uh, there's a peg there, and then there's a little slot on the back of the arm around, where is it? Right here. Right here. You see that little hole? It's going to plug into that purple spot right there. Also lift the head up and uh... Then also you can take out the arm from here and kind of straighten it out and whatnot and then do the exact same thing on the other side bring this hinge up and around plug it in bring the hand out And kind of just orient that. You can spin this around. And then just fold over this to kind of cover the backpack. And then this basically just collapses inward. And there you go. There's Arachnid. In her robot mode, and uh, yeah, this figure is a little bit sharp, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, this figure is a little sharp. Um, let's bring the camera down a little bit. But, um, one of the big things I do have to say about this figure... The head sculpt looks a little too anime-ish, I ain't gonna lie. But... Other than that, I guess it's fine. You know, it's it's not the end of the world. But there could be some other stuff that could be done. You know, it's not... It could be better. Um, Head is on a ball joint, and it's the spikes on there as well, so you have to be careful. Um, I don't know, the neck is... No, the neck's not on anything. Um, then we have the... Uh, Shoulders, um, they're kind of on ball joints, but you have to be careful about not popping this off. We have a ball, we have a double jointed, or the backward jointed, and that's mainly due to transformation. Let's say no. Um, we have a double jointed, uh, elbow. We also have a bicep swivel one away. We have a 
Nothing for the hands, because I don't know if they can turn. Or, no, okay. They can turn a little bit, but I'm scared of breaking them. Uh, she has, uh... She has kind of a backwards and forwards, um... Uh, what's it called? Ab crunch. Legs can kick forward... That far and then back that far. What the hell? And then uh, these can go that far. She cannot. She she's kind of a little bit limited. Uh, Les can bend that far, and then uh, her feet is literally nothing. So yeah, I mean it's not that bad, but it could be better. And yes, I know what you're gonna ask. Does she have the spider mode? Yes, she does. So, first one I do is that we kind of want to anger up like this. And uh, make sure to keep these parts down as much as possible. So, we can have it angle up like this and... like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come around here and we're going to detach from this part see there's a couple hinges here and whatnot we're going to detach from here and we're going to lift this up and then this is going to possibly attach around here like so, which kind of locks into place, in a way, I mean, not really. It's, it's a little bit weird. You do the exact same thing on the other side, we're going to untab, bring it up. Bring the two together. And then kind of just orient this in a way that this is going to all lock into place. It's kind of weird. It doesn't exactly fully tab into it fully, but this is where this comes in. You want it on these ones right here. And it is a bit of a pain. Because they don't always stay. And on top of that, you also got to angle them. This is also her only weapon storage as well, so keep that in mind. So she has that, and then she also has this one. Kind of just have it angled in a way that this all takes together. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I had it wrong a little bit, but it's basically still around the same. Uh, still tab these in, just kind of bring these up a little bit more, and uh, make sure this is all angled down or whatever. Make sure these are up, and then just kind of have these flayed out around here, and then this is where you tab in the legs. So... <clears throat> okay. 
that you really have to freaking undo, really. <sighs> so just tap one there. And then tab one there. Come on, you fool. Tab one in. There, good God. There we go. Uh uh uh, I didn't say anything about falling out, did I? And there you go. There's the spider mode. And you know what? I'm going to use this for side comparison. But, yeah, I mean... Okay, you know what? I actually like this now. <laughs> That's the strange thing. As soon as I did the spider mode, I'm like, nah, I like it now. That... I'm a bit mixed on this figure. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit mixed. But as soon as this mode happened, yeah, I am... I'm sold on it. I'm sold. Screw the original Deluxe, because this is the best. All right, now side comparison. Well, for starters, let's bring in um another Terracon-ish femme. I say Terracon because you know it, it it's the same joke and whatnot. Um, here she is next to Nightbird. For a Voyager class comparison, let's bring in, you know, we haven't used him in a while. Let's throw him on screen. Ironhide. For a leader class, uh, how about someone that she never fought in the show? And I would kind of like it if she did. Even though this is the Dark and the Moon version. Shockwave. And just because I know Scourge is going to kill her. Yes, Scourge. So, there you go. And yes, I have them all upgraded. So, there's that. Alright, so... Now that, our t now that uh, guy comparison is done... No, I hold up. Uh, One more. One more, and uh, this is going to shock you guys. Yes. Who would Arachna be without her arch nemesis? Even though this ain't the same one from Prime, but still. It is what it is. I'll probably get a better RC to fight Arachnid later on. Wink, wink. But uh, for the time being, that's basically it. So, that basically means we could turn back into transformation, shall we? Let's... So, first one I do is we want to take off the legs. Uh, and they are no longer needed for the rest of this review. So, just kind of put them like that. And this is where we get a little bit into the top tier toys. So, first one I want to do is that you want to actually straighten these back out like so, but then you also want to split them back up because you don't want to combine them just yet. Keep the feet um pinned down or whatever and uh you know just kind of leave it like this for now. Um you're gonna come here. Um first of all you're gonna straighten up the head like that. And what we're gonna do is we're going to straighten up the arm. So we're going to Slide this into here, like so, and it's going to kind of soft lock into place. Same thing over here. We're going to use this double joint, 
and we're going to kind of nicely tab it in there. Now, we can turn this 180, and then we can lift this up. And then we can spin this out. And then we can bring these down on their double joints. This is going to allow us to collapse all of this into here. Ow. Yeah, this figure is sharp. Be warned. You have been warned. This figure is sharp. It's a third party. They don't they don't care about the um Oh, also uh flip this out by the way. There we go. That's better. So now these can actually fold into here. And all of this can nicely collapse like so. That's going to collapse right there. And then there's also another slot that's going to tab in right there. With the legs, we're going to use this little tab here and in this little slot, and then we're just going to kind of connect it, and then do the same thing here, connect it, connect the feet together, and then just kind of angle that down, angle this down, and angle this down, Like so. Here's that thing, thing on the side. We're going to tab in right there. And then we're going to try our best to tab in here, even though this one always pops out a whole lot. And then we're going to use this tab and we're going to use into this slot right here. Like so. And like so. Once that is all situated, we're going to bring back the blades from earlier. By the way, um, for robot mode, because I don't think I showed it at all, um... These spin around, and then they just kind of arc out, so it's just kind of what it is. And then, uh, just add it on here, and there you go. There's Arachnid in her vehicle mode, and the end of the review. We have a lot more reviews on the way. If you thought that this long slog was an, was one thing, uh-uh. I'm pumping out videos possibly once every day because we have a lot more to go through. So, thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. And as always, till all are one.